Hi, this is Eric Strand with the Video Bits blog. Shot some profile tests with the Panasonic GH4 just to do com- some comparisons. The three big profiles that people seem to be talking about are Cinelike V, Cinelike D, and the Natural Profile. The other big thing is whether or not to raise your master pedestal. All the big shooters like James Miller, Philip Bloom, Andrew Reed, all have their master pedestal at 10 or 15. Largely, I think, because right after the GH4 was released, James Miller uploaded a video to Vimeo in which he boosted his master pedestal and was showing a really flat image. That video took off like wildfire, so people started jacking up their master pedestal. However, now, uh, as the months have gone on, there are definitely a few people out there who are saying they're getting a lot of noise, who are dropping their master pedestal. There are a few noise tests out there that show when you have your master pedestal raised that just introduces a ton of noise into your image. But I wanted to shoot on my own a little bit and just kind of do a quick com- quick comparison. On the left, you see I have the Cinelike D profile and on the right, the natural profile. The natural profile is obviously brighter, um, about a half a stop or a third of a stop, which uh, I write about on uh, Todd Norris's blog, and I'll put that link below. He, uh, he tends to use a natural profile, says it looks better for skin tones. It's also what Dave Dugdale found when he was testing the uh, GH4, that, that skin tones looked a lot better with the natural profile. He thought they looked a little waxy and plasticky with the uh, Cinelike D. You'll also see that I have my master pedestal and the shadow and highlight at zero for both of these, um, just, to, just to keep things even. On this next slide here, are the waveforms, those same same two images, uh, Cinelike D obviously on the left and Natural on the right, and uh, you know you'll notice that the uh, the shadows in the Cinelike D are sitting at about uh, about nine uh, nine and a half. Uh, the Natural profile, however, they're also sitting at nine nine and a half. But I'm, again, I'm actually preferring the Natural profile because it has has your uh, midtones. Uh, and at the proper, you know, between between 60 and 80, um, just spreads them out more. And when you're dealing with this this 420 8-bit codec H.264 coming out of the GH4, you don't have a lot of a lot of room there to grade your image. And the natural profile, you know, you have nice nice blacks uh, that match the cinema like D. Your highlights are good. Your your midtones are hitting where they're supposed to be. So you got a big big dynamic range there. Um, so if you have to do some color correction, you're not dramatically pulling and pulling and pushing your shadows and highlights. So again, this is uh, this is the image uh, left and right, and uh, here's the waveform of those of those images. The biggest difference, in my opinion, is that the uh, the midtones are really boosted with the natural profile as compared to the uh, the Cinelike D. Here's that Cinelike D profile, uh, sorry, picture with the waveform in the corner the natural photo and as you can see just going back and forth natural is, is obviously brighter but you can pull those midtones down those highlights down a little bit and totally recover that information you know as you can see on the waveform we're not blowing anything out so that information is there now this is a, a shot uh, in the waveform of Andrew Reed's cinema profile which uh, I had actually had been using for a while and he has cine like V with contrast set to zero, noise reduction and sharpness at minus five and saturation at minus two. But he has his master pedestal as I was saying before at plus 10 and he also has his shadows at minus two and highlights in plus two in the menu settings there. Again, uh, I mean he creates you know obviously beautiful images. This, turns out a nice a nice looking image um but i'm gonna have to go back to a lot of people are saying uh with when they raise the master pedestal they're, they're getting noise in their image so again it's a trade-off i mean you know all these all these profiles are going to create beautiful looking images if you have proper lighting and and you know you're using your lighting properly and you're able to to grade a little bit but i think that the natural profile has a few people are leaning towards that I've seen is just giving you a nice, nice dynamic range. Uh, you can see how spread out your midtones are bet- with between Cinelike D and, and Andrew Reed's. The midtones in those two profiles seem to be uh, uh, lowered a little bit. Um, and yeah, you're, you're getting uh, actually more details in the shadows in the natural profile than you are in in uh, 
the the Cinelake Andrew Reed Cinelake V profile with plus ten. So just a a quick test there with with the profiles on the GH4. And uh, I think I'm gonna lean, like I said, towards the natural profile with contrast at minus five, sharpness noise reduction at minus five, saturation at minus two, and then have the master pestle at zero. I still am interested in playing with, with the highlight setting there, um, and maybe turning that down a couple notches, but uh, I have yet to do that. Anyway, hope you find this helpful, just some some food for thought.